After George and Barbara McNeil retired from the state of Nevada, they found themselves busier than ever as the keepers of Central Nevada legacy. Jack Sutton has a story of the Pony Express, an old stage stop, and a traveler's oasis in tonight's Nevada backroads. At one time, only the sound of the wind and the coyotes and the occasional horsemen were heard in the valley. But the old dirt trail became a highway, and the original stage stop on the Rock Creek route grew along with the traffic. 1860 to 1861, we were located on the route of the Pony Express Station. Cold Spring Station, we're based on a Pony Express Station that's up on the hill out, out to our right out here. And uh, it's just a beautiful area, and it's a great place to come out and eat and have fun and stay with us. Highway 50 is called the loneliest road, but it's not really. Things are just sort of spread out out here. Cold Springs is the only purveyor of hospitality for 50 miles in all directions. You get everyone coming in here. We get people traveling across the United States. To, um, you know, we get a lot of bicyclists that'll come across. You know, we're a great spot for them to have a nice little layover. We, a lot of our ranchers come in for dinner. Uh, so we get, we get quite a bit of business. It, it's surprising how many people actually do go down the loneliest road. From an old rock structure to a modern building, the station has changed with the times, but folks have always left the welcome mat out. Again, you meet a lot of people. It's, it's a lot of fun that way. And to be out here in, in, in the wonderland of Nevada, you know, we're right in the middle, and so it's so much better for us. Reporting from Cold Spring Station, Jack Sutton, Channel 2 News.